Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to start creating 3D graphics with the JavaScript library 3.js. And so 3.js is simply a JavaScript library that creates 3D graphics using WebGL. So in order to get started, you'll need three files. So index.html, you can create that, app.js, and then create a JS folder. And within that, we have a file called 3.js. What this does is it has all of the functions and exports that we'll need to actually use this library for this project. There are other ways you can do it, like you can download it onto your actual computer, or you can use a CDN, but I found this is the most convenient. So I've linked to this in the description. So now let's actually, and so now let's actually get started. What we're going to be creating is this animation that you see right here, and we're going to start within index.html. So first we're going to start with doc type HTML as usual. And then within the head, we'll have the title. You can call this whatever you want. I'll just call this 3.js tutorial. Underneath that, we'll set the style. We're not going to be using an external CSS document for this because we'll only be setting one style. So margin zero for the body and that's it for the style. So now within the body, we'll need to reference our 3.js file, so we'll, so we'll actually be able to use the library within app.js, so script source equals js 3.js and then let's reference app.js so we can actually use that so script source equals app.js. Alright, so that's all we need for our index.html file. So now let's move on to app.js. So within your app.js file, the first thing you're going to do is create a scene, a camera, and a renderer. And so for any project, this applies um, for 3.js. So the camera is what you're going to be shooting your movie with. The scene is kind of like the setting of your movie. And the renderer is the movie theater where you, where everyone's able to see the scene. So we're going to create the scene by stating constant scene equals new 3.scene. Then we'll create the camera. New three dot. We'll be using perspective camera. And perspective camera takes four arguments. The first is the field of view. We'll set this to 75. And the field of view is how wide the camera perspective will be. The second is the aspect ratio. And we'll set that to window dot inner width divided by window dot inner height. The third is the near clipping plane. And so any elements closer than this distance will not be rendered to the screen. We'll set this to point one. And then lastly, the far clipping plane. So any elements further than this distance will not be rendered to the screen either. We'll set this to 1000. And then lastly, let's create the renderer. So constant renderer equals new 3.webgl renderer. OK, so now let's set the size for the renderer. So renderer.set size. And we'll set that to window dot inner width. And then now let's actually add this to our HTML file or our document. So document.body.appendChild. 
renderer dot dom element. So this just adds the renderer to the to the actual document that we see here. So if we save and then run this, as you can see, the renderer or the the renderer is now displayed on the screen at the default color, which is black. And so now we need to create our first shape. And so with any shape in 3.js, there are three things you're going to need. The geometry, the material, and the mesh. So the geometry is basically the shape of our object. And it's made up of vertices and faces. And so in order to create the geometry, we'll say constant geometry equals new 3 dot box geometry. And we'll say the the arguments will be one, one, and one. And then constant material. And what material is is basically what the object is made of. For this material, we'll only specify the color. So material equals new three dot mesh basic material. And we'll set the color to you can set it to whatever you want. What I'll set it to is OX95F0FF. And then constant mesh or Q equals new three dot mesh. And the mesh is basically a combination of the geometry and material to create an actual shape. So we'll just say, well, the two arguments will be geometry and material. So if we save this and then reload the page, as you can see, nothing appears because we haven't actually added this to the scene and then we haven't actually rendered the actual scene. So let's add this to the scene. So scene.add cube. And then if we were to render this right now, we actually would not see the cube because the camera is placed at the center of the page and the cube was also created in the center. So we need to move the camera out by, let's say five. So camera.position.z will set to five. And then to get the rotation effect that you see here, we'll set the x speed and the y speed of the cube. So var x speed is equal to 0 0.04. And then var y speed is equal to 0 0.04 as well. And then now we need to actually animate it. So let's create an animate function. So function animate. And then request animation frame. This allows us to actually start animating. Then cube dot rotation dot x plus equals x speed. And we'll do the same thing for y. So cube dot rotation dot y plus equals y speed. And then now let's actually render it. So render dot render scene and camera. And then lastly, we need to actually call the animate function. So at the bottom, just call the animate function and save. So if we reload the page now, as you can see, it worked. The cube is now rotating in the middle of the page. And so 3.js is not only limited to this. You can create countless projects. You can create entire systems of software just using 3.js. But this is just an introductory tutorial to get you started. And in the future, I'll have more showing how to do better, more complicated things, such as adding lights, making better settings, and whatnot. But if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like and please subscribe. And this has been Steamcoat. I'll see you in the next one.